Hey guys, uh, welcome back. It's uh, part 14 of X4 Foundations. Um, I'm going to get up real quick. I'm still at that uh, Talati Wharf, but I want to get over here because um, what I ended up doing here You see here, that's a traitor. I want to see if I can. I think that's it right there. Yeah, that's it. Nice. I just kind of wanted to see it land. Um, anyways, um, so, you know, NPCs are not they're not supplying it and it's really I know it's because you know Eaglesoft wants opportunities for you to start with to be able to, to start trading um, there but that's my first it's a medium trader it's a uh, I think it's a Demeter you see my logo on it So I just kind of wanted to check it out. Um, so yeah, it's a medium trader. Um, I actually bought two of these. Um, and what it's doing right now is it is... Uh, I had it go to uh, buy engine parts. And now it's dropping off engine parts here at the wharf. And I've got the second one going to buy... Um, by engine parts as well trader 2 um, he's docking here to he's gonna buy some engine parts too now the pilots all right so that uh, I wasn't or I'm waiting for this thing to trade I think um, now the the pilots on both of these are only two stars, so they can't auto trade. But I wanted to get a trading ship so I can fill these holes, these production holes, like the engine parts here at the wharf where it's logged, because it's it's got a a bunch of ships to produce and it can't produce them without these engine parts. Um, so anyways, I bought two traders, and I'm mentally basically telling them what to do, what to trade. See that guy over there? What? I, he's landed. He's already he's already down, dude. Relax, relax. Calm down. Calm down. It will be okay. It will be okay. Um, so anyways, uh, I got those traders. Um, if... Uh, I go to my property um, you see there's here's oh no 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 these are vultures I bought vultures from uh, the paranid because what I ended up doing is um, there's this wharf right here that's uh, stuck because it needs engine parts I went to this wharf to buy a buzzard and it's not building so it's obviously stuck too I haven't um, explored all the modules so I don't know all the details of exactly what it is I'm guessing probably engine parts but I don't know I'll have to find out uh, but right now I just want to supply this thing with enough stuff to get it producing because um, the oh no, no wait 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 this miner and that buzzard are both waiting to be built there. It's the Demeter that is waiting to be built there. But they're they're stuck. They're not producing. So because they're stuck, they need resources. Um, so what I did was I went over here to the Paranids Wharf to buy those vultures. So I can at least have two transports here. Or I could manually tell them where to go and um, to try to manually supply these holes in production um, 
So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm going to keep on um, keep on uh, doing this, you know, manually doing these trades, making money while I'm doing it, building reputation while I'm doing it, um, but also filling these production holes so I can get my ships produced that I've already paid for. Um, I was also messing with um, these are all mediums, and I was messing with a large transporter uh, as far as getting it built with the specs and stuff I want and how much it would cost and it was like 15 million <coughs> excuse me I have come to the end of my research sorry about that um, but it was like 15 million so um, I'm going to have to wait on the large ships. I'm going to have to kind of build, uh, you know, my fleet right now, my economic fleet with medium ships for just right now until I, I'm making enough money. Um, let me check real quick here uh, information. So it's got the engine parts. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to trade and sell those parts. I want to make a almost you know 102,000 from the trade. So now, if I go here, we should start seeing it undock. Yeah, we're seeing it undock, and then it's gonna it's gonna head there. So, uh, so now if I select this and go to information wow it doesn't wow it's going to need a lot of engine parts um, because my trader it's already dumped those so I want to tell my trader one to go back uh, to go back here and trade and I want it to buy engine parts. Yeah, confirm. So now it's going. It's taken off. Um, and then as I'm doing this with these the the uh, these uh, pilots in there, they should be getting experience. And um, they'll be able to uh, get to level three. And once I kind of manually, uh, uh, I, actually, I don't know. I, I have to be able to produce more ships. As long as I can produce more traders, as soon as they get to level three, I'll probably start auto trading. But I will probably keep, you know, the, the lower pilots um, as I build new ships. Uh, keep control of them and do this manual manual trading so that I can make sure this economy is flowing and there's no logs or you know stalls and in, in the production lines chains here um, so let's see here was my research done my research is done okay. So really, guys, I'm almost maxing all this research stuff. You see, I'm just doing these the last uh, tier of these mods. Then I'll be done with the research, really. Um, right now, uh, we I got 2.7 million in cash. Net worth of ships, though. I've got a lot of ships now. I'm starting to get ships. I've got 15 owned ships, one owned station. That's the HQ. Um, so... Really, value of ships is increasing. We're building our fleet. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show too is um, my idea was on these miners. My idea was to kind of spread them out evenly and at least have every resource kind of be in mind um, in in areas. However. 
like if I go to this mine or I go to information and I go to, to behavior, it's auto mining ore. Okay, it's it's the ore one. Um, now max gate distance two. I have zero, so I thought, you know, I started at mining in, in Grand Exchange three, and since I told it it can't use any gates, I thought it would stick around here. But they're they're going off all over the place. So, like you see, like these miners over here, like. That one started off in, uh, doing hydrogen in Grand Exchange 1. And now it's auto mining hydrogen. Well, it's trading right now. Um, but I've, they're mining in different areas. So I'm just guessing. I don't know this for sure. But what it seems like is... All right, so I, I started mining it in here. So it's not going to mine any, any, uh, in any other um, sector... Um, because it can't use any jump gates. Once it fills up with its hold, it goes to trade it somewhere. It goes to trade it where it knows where someone needs it. And so it travels wherever it needs to go to sell it. And I'm thinking what happens is once it sells and it goes back to the auto mine, then wherever it is, it won't use any jump gates. You see what I mean? So I think that's the way it's reading this, the AI. That's not the way I thought it would work. Um, but I think that's what it's doing because these miners are going all over the place. Bright Promise over there. Um, Trinity Sanctum. Uh, Unholy Retribution. Uh, Pious Miss. Uh, so, I mean, they are all over the place. And I set them all up the same way. Uh, so, just a heads up on that. Um... I'm obviously I'm still learning as as a go to but I'm not sure if that's really even helpful then you know what I mean if you can't limit to where it's going as far as distance or, and it may be a bug it may not be working like intended or it may be working like intended and I just don't understand it yet but I wanted to explain that stuff so the reason so since they're already moving all over the place um, I'm basically, so instead of looking at areas that I'm mining, what resources, I basically, I'm just what, what's mining, what resource. So I've got two silicons, I got two ores, I got a nobidium, methane, ice, hydrogen, and helium. So from what I know, as far as the, so I got silicon, ore, nobidium, and ice, those are the solids. And then I got helium, hydrogen, and methane, and those are gas. Those are all the gases that I know of, anyway, that I'm aware of. So at least I've got a miner doing each resource, and I'm just going to kind of keep it that way. Um, this is a mineral miner, and so I may. I don't know. I may try to find a vidium again because I already got two silicon, two ore. Ice, it seemed like the ice refineries were kind of full already, so I'll try to find a vidium somewhere probably with, for this guy. Um, so anyways, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of give another update where we're at. And, and the problem is, too, is with, things take time and effort in, in the X Games, so I don't want to sit here... Like, I want you guys to be able to experience and see how the progress. But I also don't want you guys to be really, really, really bored. So, so that's why I'm kind of, like, doing some of the boring stuff, tedious stuff, and then recording to give you an update of what I did. Uh, but if there's anything interesting I want to have on video, but basically I'm just moving trading ships around and wares right now. I mean, we're just, I'm just looking at this stuff, so... But I want to, uh, again, I don't want you guys, I don't want to get so far in the progression that you guys get lost and you're just like, well, how'd you even get to that point? You know what I mean? If, I want you guys to be able to, because sometimes, especially with X, because there's so many details, it's like the small steps that maybe I take for granted um, may be an issue for some, you know, for one of you guys or something like that.
and you're just not sure how it works or something. So I kind of want, I, I don't want to go too far. Um, so anyways, yep, learning as we go, learning as we go, still growing a little bit here, growing. Um, but I need 16 million to be able to buy the license from Talati, so I have prices of all the stations. I am going to try to get that, because you need to know what prices are, and I don't want to scan every single station. Uh, every module of every station to, to know but I may end up having to do that I don't know if I can just pay 16 million and that and I already know all the Talati stuff that would be nice and so I'm, I'm wanting to really get that 16 million but I only got 2.8 right now so I'm just going to try to get some money wait till I get some money all right guys so that's uh kind of a quick update on stuff how things are working what's going on with the the Empire um, I do want to see one thing here yeah Commander Rex's Empire um, one thing I wanted to see, see oh there's modifications Oh, so this is that's cool. So this is the recipes. I, I did, did not know that. So these are the recipes for like Okay, so under weapons, you got like weapon damage. Damage mod, damage mod, damage mod. Five to twenty, thirty-five to forty-five, thirty-four to fifty. And then you got the blue mods. Oh wow. Huh. Well, that's cool. So there's rest the recipes are in here, so you, you know what you need. That's nice to know. That is nice to know. I want to check that out too. So, anyways, guys, there you go. There's your recipes. Um, yes, please. Upgrades. Um. just so you guys can see some of the money that's being made so this is hydrogen uh, load made 45,000 um, this one oh, that was the engine parts I sold so actually yeah I made I it was almost 200,000 to buy and it's almost 300,000 to sell so I made about a hundred thousand but that was that transaction um, ice 17,000 um, methane almost 50,000 silicon almost 58,000 um, or 29,000 the vidium 250,000 uh, ice 20,000 or 27 so you kind of see I'm trying to let you guys see what they are hydrogen 45,000 methane 49,000 so I, I want you guys to kind of I want to be able to show you guys oh, helium that's not 34,000 kind of see what wears how much money in general they're making um, anyways I kind of wanted I want to definitely want to show you that too so that may help you guys decide what you want to how you want to go about building your empires all right well guys I uh, definitely um, Appreciate, uh, appreciate uh, you guys watching, and um, of course, feel free to leave comments too. Um, I have concluded my I'm trying to. Uh, results are astounding. Results are astounding. Nice. Uh, I'm trying to uh, uh, this will allow you to do better with. Um, I will begin right away. You know, answering comments like I always definitely read them, and I always respond. I'm trying to get better at. Uh, responding more timely if I can you know uh, of course you know life and work happens but uh, I do respond to every um, comment and I because I do appreciate them you guys take the time to type them I'm definitely uh, the least I can do is take the time to type a response so I do appreciate it all right guys thanks for watching and I will see you next time